So Windows has come out with its new operating system, Windows 11, um, and it is a free upgrade from existing Windows 10 users to Windows 11, um, and we highly recommend it. The, the feel to Windows 11 is much more Mac-like. Um, you'll see the taskbar is centered on the bottom uh, now. You can customize widgets. Um, we'll cover that, but basically widgets are small windows that cover weather or financials, sporting teams, stuff like that. Um, they keep you updated. There's a news bar below it. Uh, Microsoft Teams is integrated with Windows 11 um, for gamers. There are much better graphics. There's also an Xbox tech feature. Um, better virtual desktop support. Um, and the transitioning from monitor to laptop and multitasking is, is amazing. And, and this comes, of course, with COVID and people working from home. It's important to multitask and to be able to do multiple things with your laptop at once. So it's, it's geared towards that. It's a great tool. We're going to cover it right now. All right, kids, let's get into the meat and potatoes. Before we do, please subscribe to our channel if you have not yet done so. There is a red subscribe button in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. Also, like our video if the content is useful to you, and as always, leave comments. Uh, this video and others like it are from subscriber questions and comments. Um, they're great, and they give us ideas for content that, that help you. So the first thing we're going to do is head over to Microsoft.com. You can see the web address um, up here in the window. There's also a link in the video description um, to this page. Uh, but what this is going to do is check your computer to make sure that it is um, eligible uh, for the upgrade. Okay. Um, there are some requirements as you see here. Uh, the processor should be a gigahertz. Um, you need four gigs of RAM to run the operating system, um, 64 gigabits or larger um, for storage, um, TPM, trusted platform module, you want to make sure you have that. Uh, it talks about DirectX 12 graphics card and you know you want at least a 720p monitor. Uh, most computers that are running Windows 10 today uh, meet those requirements. But what you do want to do uh, is download the PC Health Check app um, right here. So if we click on that, that's going to download this uh, onto our PC, okay, um, by clicking here. And you'll see the download um, is in process. Uh, once it's done, of course, you can open the file um, and run Health Check, okay? So we'll go ahead and do that. And once it's installed, it will ask you if you want to open uh, the PC Health Check. So we'll go ahead and do that. We can add a desktop if we like. And there's our screen, okay? Let's check if this PC meets the system requirements uh, for Windows 11. So let's check that now. And there we go, this PC meets Windows 11 requirements, okay? So that's good news for us. We will now go to the Windows Update and it will display this download. Okay, so now we know our system meets the requirements. We're just going to go into the Windows Update um, and download Windows 11. Okay, at this point you can see uh, the Windows 11 installation process uh, is in progress. It's currently at 0%, so we'll let that finish and show you what happened. All right, folks, we have installed the new operating system, Windows 11, and as you can see right away, the graphics are improved. Um, this desktop looks amazing. Um, the taskbar, as we mentioned, is centered. Um, now, it does have a Mac feel to it. Uh, we'll cover some of these icons in the ta taskbar that are new quickly. Um, the first is the Start button. Um, if you're used to Windows, that used to be kind of over here, um, but it has a new feel to it. When you open it, um, it shows your recent icons, um, shows some recommended apps um, based on what you've been doing, and a search bar, okay? So you can search for 
uh, content there. All right. We also have um, basically a, a search bar. Um, if you don't want to search through the start button, you can certainly search there. Um, we have this is where you get into multitasking. You can have multiple desktops uh, at once. Another feature that I like um, is you can have two or three panels open, actually four panels open on your workspace. Um, so if we were to go to, you know, Edge, okay, I can come and hover above this panel and I can set my screen format to two panels of equal size, two panels, one big, one small, three panels, or four panels. Okay, so let's just, for the sake of this demonstration, pick two to be quick. Um, and there you go. There's your Explorer. OBS is actually the program I'm using um, to make this video. You can see it embeds my picture with, with what we're doing. Um, so you can go back and forth. Um, that's pretty cool. Um, there's also a chat app in which you can add family members that are also on Windows 11 uh, and chat that way, um, which is pretty cool. So um, the multitasking part is a game changer for me. You could do multiple things at once. This is geared again towards, you know, with COVID and all of this stuff, people working from home. Um, they want to be productive, right? Uh, you can have your work office uh, desktop uh, in a window and your personal desktop in a window, your, your email open um, and that type of stuff. So it's kind of cool. Uh, but that includes that, that concludes the tutorial on the Windows 11. Uh, it's an upgrade that I would suggest doing. It's worth it. Uh, until next time, we'll see you in the field.